and the bottom line is, is that when I look at Aaron Rodgers, I look at the Green Bay Packers team devoid of a real running game. And then in, on the passing on the passing front, you got Devontae Adams and Valdez Scantling. And I just don't I, I'm a big fan of Devontae Adams, uh, but I just look at Valdez Scantling and certainly, you know, the, the turnovers yesterday. Um, obviously, that hurt him a lot. I know it hurt his heart to to commit those things and he's a good player and these things kind of happen. But I think that when you're talking about competing for a Super Bowl championship, those two weapons, you need to have more than them available to you, particularly when you don't have a running game and you don't have an elite defense. You need more than those guys when the success of your team is predicated on Aaron Rodgers and that passing attack. This is not the days of Jordy Nelson with Randall Cobb and those boys. Devontae Adams can ball, but you need more than Valdez Scantlin as his sidekick. You don't have that. You don't have much of a running game. You got a defense that ranks 14th against the pass, 13th against the rush, 17th in yards allowed. I'm sorry, in points allowed overall. I just look at Green Bay and I say to myself, excuse me, yesterday was emblematic of what we're talking about here. They jump out to a 28 to 14 lead. And then between the next two quarters in the second half and overtime, you put up a grand total of three points and really just had one good drive with Aaron Rodgers moving y'all down the field to tie it. That's who they are. I don't think that's good enough to win a Super Bowl. It's good enough to make the playoffs, sure. And Aaron Rodgers always gives you a shot. But I don't think it's good enough to win it all. I just don't. Oh, I think they could win the Super Bowl. They're not going to be my favorites to come out of the NFC, but are they good enough to win it? Sure. Should they have drafted Aaron Rodgers' eventual replacement instead of pick up either another receiver to make to give Rodgers more weapons or a defensive piece that they need? Yeah, probably they should have done that. We all said that at the time, but they didn't. This is what they are, right? Now, what are they? Are they good enough to win a Super Bowl? You know, people, oh, they're 0-2 against teams with 500 records, guys. They've played three good teams this season, and they're one and two, and they're a fumble away from being two and one. They're like the Bucks beat them up, and that was a bad matchup, and it was uncharacteristic of Aaron Rodgers. And the Bucks have an elite defense, but the Packers beat the Saints early, and again the Colts. If we were to ask this question about the Colts. You know, the answers might be different. The Colts are one of the most well-rounded teams, and look how Phillip Rivers is playing right now. And Yeah, okay, but if not for a fumble, they beat the Colts yesterday. And it's not, you look at their schedule, they don't have a very tough schedule coming up. They should have a very good record. It should put them in good position in the playoffs. They are, they are, look, they have Aaron Rodgers. They have what you just said, Stephen A., when you listed their defensive um, standings in different rankings. They have about an average defense. The eyeball test says low average, but it's not like bottom three or four defense. It's not like the kind of defense that disqualifies you from winning a Super Bowl. So then it comes down to can guys like Valdez Scantling make plays when Aaron Rodgers needs them to? Well, he did fumble, but the, the, on his previous attempt, he made a great play. So the answer is yes, they don't have a huge margin for error because of the defense, but they could absolutely win a Super Bowl. They're one of a handful of teams out of the NFC that you could say that about. Listen, no one has a chance to win the Super Bowl outside of Kansas City this year. Let's make that very clear. Kansas City's right. winning the well, Super other Bowl, than okay? That, that's true. If we remove right. Kansas City from the picture, the Packers absolutely have a chance, but they won't because of their defense. Their offense is spectacular. Matt LaFleur is one of the best play designer and play callers in the NFL. Rodgers is completely comfortable. I disagree with everybody that they don't have a receiver outside of Devontae Adams. Alan Lazard is a really important piece, but their defense continues to be the issue. And it's not only just the defensive players themselves, it's also the defensive coordinator, Mike Pettin. And that was the big kind of difference maker in yesterday's game. One defense for the Colts, Matt Eberflus is their defensive coordinator. He made adjustments, and he was a big reason why that defense played a lot better. And the, the Green Bay Packers defense didn't adjust in the second half. They couldn't stop the run, and they couldn't get off the field against Phillip Rivers. And so in that moment, I go, okay, once you get to the back end of the season and into the playoffs, there's things that become difference makers. One of them is your quarterback. Is your quarterback a difference maker? Green Bay, absolutely. Another one is your coach. And it's not just the head coach. It's also the offensive and defensive coordinators. And while I think the coaching for Green Bay offensively is outstanding, I look at the defense and go, you, you got to stop playing so much dime defense, meaning six defensive backs on the field. 
You've got to put bigger bodies when the offense is telling you, I'm going to run the football. You've got to put bigger bodies on the field to stop the run. And so for those reasons, I look and go, is the offense good enough to win a Super Bowl with Aaron Rodgers and Matt LaFleur? Unquestionably, yes. Is the defense, do I have any faith that defense can slow down Tampa Bay, Seattle, Arizona, whoever they're going to face, New Orleans? No. I don't think that that defense is good enough. And so that for, for that reason, I say that the, the Packers can't win a Super Bowl. Well, do me a favor. Don't, don't take are, what I said, yeah. part of it, and to, it completely ignore the other part. I don't recall letting their defense off the hook, led by Mike Patton. I understand that they've got, obviously, some issues on the uh, defensive side of the ball. Clearly, that's the case. But offensively, I'm not saying that Valdez, Scantling, or, or Lazard and those brothers can't play. I'm saying that when you're talking about competing this particular season – for a Super Bowl, when you scour the NFC and you look at the Rams defense and you look at the playmaking ability of Russell Wilson on offense for Seattle, when you look at uh, Tom Brady and Tampa and you don't anticipate that they're going to have, you know, they're going to wet the bed the way they did against New Orleans a couple of weeks ago, and you take into account the New Orleans Saints, I'm saying that other than Devontae Adams, you're going to need other dudes to step up and be pretty damn co close to elite to offset some of the things that the defense for the Green Bay Packers is going to, to, going to give you yeah, on a week-in, week-out basis. That's what I'm saying, Dan, and that's why I don't believe that they they can win the Super Bowl or they can even look, get to the Super Bowl. Pat that's my problem with it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.